This is the way you left me. I'm not pretending. No hope, no love, no glory, no happy ending. What is up, guys? Stingy here. Uh, that was pretty dramatic intro. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, today I got another tutorial for you. Um, it's gonna be on basics of syncing with Twixter in uh, After Effects. Uh, it's been requested by a few people. Love you, Edo. Uh, just I know it's been done before, but the tutorials that I watched weren't that in depth. This is probably gonna be, hopefully, gonna be a very in depth tutorial um, telling you all you need to know for basic Twixter. Anyway, uh, this is a preview if you haven't already seen my edit. Uh, this is what it's going to look like. So that's just a little uh, Twixter. Um, so we're going to jump into After Effects. Uh, and we're going to File New Project. And yeah, so you want to import your clip. Uh, so File import file and I'm just going to use this little feed I got um, you want to drag your clip down into a new composition you want to come up to composition and composition settings make sure it's 1280 by 720 frame rate is 59.94 if you have a PVR if not, then whatever your recording device records at. Um, you want to change the duration. So if your clip's 22 seconds, you probably want to make it about 55. Uh, just so it gives you a bit of extra room. Um, the first thing you want to do is come over here and turn off your game audio. Because we're not going to use that. That will just ruin it. Um, I'm just going to crop out the black lines that the PVR gives you. It's shit. No, I'm joking. It's not a PVR. Um, and I'm going to come up and just put on look a mojo color correction. Um, I like magic ball looks mojo. It's not going to be anything too good. And shield on. That'll do for now. Uh, nothing too serious. Uh, yeah. You can also add on a sharpen. Uh, this is if you don't have um, uh, Sony Vegas, if you're a Mac user like me. That's what she said. And you want the sharpen amount. I'm going to use about five. Five seems to work right. You won't see much of a change, but it does do a little bit. Okay, next you're going to want to import your song. So I'm going to be using this song. Um, drop that in my timeline. Double click L on your keyboard to bring up the waveform and crop that down a bit so it shows. Uh, Okay, there we go. All right, that's good. Next, you want to import your um, uh, gun sound. So, if you haven't already seen my gun sound pack, uh, I recommend you check that out. Just so you can get your gun sounds for Modern Warfare 3. So, because I'm using the MSR, I'll grab the MSR. Okay, you want to click on your clip. You want to come up to Effect, RE Vision Plugins, and Twixter Pro, or if you've got Twixter 4.5, doesn't really matter. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that it got rid of our color correction. So, drag that above everything, then you'll get it back. Frame rate uh, is 59.94, because I got a PBR, you jelly. <laughs> All right. Next thing we're going to want to do is find the spot in your clip where you're just about to zoom in for your shot. So mine's there. 
you want to hit a keyframe on speed then come down on click on your clip and click U so it brings up your um, effects then you want to go forward uh, I normally go two or three frames and I'll drop the speed down to eight or nine it doesn't matter just whatever you think looks best and we're going to do a nice long twixter then you want to once you've got your desired length you want to come over to down here and hit the keyframe button again and then you want to go forward two or three frames again and drop the speed or bump the speed back up to 100 so now you'll see we've got this little slow-mo 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 and then fast motion again so you want to zoom in so you can see all your keyframes and I forgot to mention before but these big uh, jumps in the uh, waveform they are your beats or your major beats in your song so we want to be syncing to those so I'll be syncing to this one um, so you want to hold shift and click both of your keyframes key and drag your cursor over to where the beat is and then you want to find the spot where you first see your um, hit marker so where you first see a hit marker which for me is there so I'd take it back one sorry forward one so there and that's your first sync to the beat so come over back to your project and go to your MSR gun sound or whatever gun sound you have drag that in and drag it up to where your um, beat is so in this case mine is here so we'll just drag it there and that's your first sync done so we'll do one more um, just for the sake of this tutorial I'm not going to go in a huge amount of depth because it's pretty uh, straightforward but just to give you guys the basics so come back up to your uh, Modern Warfare 3 clip and click effects controls and then in, you want to uh, click your keyframe down here to create a, another keyframe. Go forward three, same as before, and drop it down to eight. Now you want to go forward to your desired length, so here. And you want to keyframe again and then go forward three frames and put it back up to 100. Same deal again, guys. Hold shift and click on your second keyframe. Bring your cursor forward to the beat and then take that back to where your person gets their hit. So, mine would be there. Alright, same deal again. Go back to project and drag your MSR clip in or your sound clip for your gun. And place that down there. Zoom in just to assure that it's perfect. So, yep, it's good. Alright, guys, uh, this has been Stingy uh, from Stingy Designs. And just before I say I'm out, peace, I'm going to just ask that you guys please comment in the comment section on what tutorials you want next because it, it's I struggle to work out what to bring you so any requests uh, for After Effects, Photoshop, Cinema 4D, no Sony Vegas though sorry people but just put it in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Anyway guys uh, I'm out. Peace. Awaken, always ready, your hustle is never steady I don't rise and grind, nigga, but my bread, I'm on that deli I just don't sleep, fucking alarm 